Bath came to King's home to face the team that lay just one place above them. Gloucester are in their best form since 2002 and were looking for a ninth consecutive win to tighten their grip on a playoff spot. 28,000 fans were to be treated to one of the games of the season. Gloucester took a fifth minute lead via the boot of Nicky Robinson. But the game really kicked off when Gloucester fullback Ollie Morgan put Bath under pressure before Rory Lawson's delicate kick and a fortunate bounce helped Henry Trinder run in for the try. Bath needed a quick response and it arrived five minutes later when Ben Williams collected a pass from Butch James before Matt Banahan broke through the Gloucester defence for the try. A Paul Doran Jones touchdown had restored Gloucester's lead before an Ollie Barkley penalty took the teams in at 15-10 for the half. The second period started in the same blockbuster fashion the first had ended. Bath's Tom Biggs was able to break through two tackles and within two minutes of the restart, the teams were level once again. Robinson slotted another penalty before Tom Voice finished off a five-minute flurry that saw Gloucester add eight points and the home side seemed to be in firm control. With seven minutes left, Robinson looked to have finally put the game beyond all doubt, but Bath were not going down without a fight. A Williams try four minutes later not only had Bath sinking bonus point, but come back. However, neither was to be. Another voice try late on put the West Country derby to bed. His second of the game against his former club, Gloucester's fourth for the five-point maximum and denying Bath a losing bonus into the bargain. A bad afternoon for the visitors ended with news that Ollie Barkley will miss the rest of the season with a suspected broken leg. Final score, Gloucester 34, Bath 22.